Algebraic equations are incredibly useful for solving problems in so many different walks of life. However, if we start to represent them graphically, they can be even more useful to us. But how do we even start to do that? To find out, we have to look back to the 1600s to a fairly famous French chap who didn't really like to get out of bed. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting visitors at 11 o'clock in the morning, I was resting. You've disturbed my rest. I was busy thinking and therefore also being. No, 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 don't, 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 don't go, don't go. Now you are here, I can tell you, I have made a discovery incroyable. Look on my ceiling. Il y a un fly. I was thinking, is there a way I can explain to you exactly where on the ceiling the fly is, even if you aren't able to look for yourself? And I have an idea. If I put numbered lines all the way along the ceiling horizontally and vertically, I can make a grid. The points where the lines cross is uh, referenced by the number of the lines. To keep things simple, I will always give you the horizontal number first. Regardez, the fly is on the point 6-5. Et maintenant, on the point 8-10. Ingenious, isn't it? Even if you cannot see the fly with my reference, you can know exactly where on the ceiling it is at any time. Look, if I told you the fly was at 3-8, you could point to exactly where it is, couldn't you? 3-8. Aha, parfait, c'est là. It is brilliant, no? Ça veut dire, I am uh, the best. I think it will catch on. And it did. This grid reference method is used for all sorts of things now, including representing algebraic equations visually. It's also known after the person who invented it, René Descartes, the Cartesian plane. Let's have a practice at using this. This grid has numbers along the bottom. We call this the X axis and numbers along the side the y-axis. We call the references coordinates and they always give you the x-axis number first and the y-axis number second. If you're using the sheet that comes with the video, mark with an x the following points. If you don't have the sheet, point at the right place on the screen. Pause now. Here come the answers. For each coordinate, the first number is the x-axis and the second number is the y-axis, so along the corridor, then up the stairs. 9, 16, A goes here. 5 and 11, B goes here. And 3 and 15, C goes here. If you need more practice, there are plenty more questions on the sheet that accompanies this video. However, if you're good, it's time that you start looking at the types of algebraic equation that you can represent on the Cartesian plane.